Omen is one of the most creative agents in the game. His kit gives you the ability to stall with one ways, completely shut down a push with a single flash, and create massive headaches for the enemy team with creative TPs. As opposed to agents like Viper and Brimstone that have straightforward abilities that increase in skill with lineups, Omen's skill ceiling is determined by how flexible you are with his abilities. In this guide, we'll be showing you how to turn the tides of a round and take control of your games as Omen. And for everything else you need to climb ranks and improve fast, there's skill capped. We take the highest priority skills to climb ranks fast, like aiming, and then break it down into a step-by-step -step course that's easy to understand. You'll not only learn the basics like crosshair placement and clearing angles properly, but also more advanced concepts like getting more multi-kills and repositioning. These courses have been getting 5-star ratings from users just like you, raving at how helpful they are. That's not all though. Every week, we release 6 brand new VOD reviews where Radiant coaches teach you how to climb out of the exact rank that you're stuck in. And if you're looking for something a little more personal instead, well, we've got you covered with our brand new one-on-one -on -one coaching on our skill cap Discord. All this seems too good to be true? Well, don't worry. We're backed by a rank up guarantee, meaning if you don't significantly improve while actively using skill capped, you get your money back. No questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and get the rank you've always wanted. All right, let's get back into the guide. Let's begin with Omen's first ability, Shrouded Step, which cost him 100 credits each with two charges. This ability allows him to teleport almost anywhere in a close vicinity and on top of objects. This leaves you with a lot of outplay potential as Omen, especially when paired with his paranoia, which we're gonna talk about here in a second. I find myself using this ability most at the start of a round to get on top of objects for off angles, or to cross enemy sight lines without fear of being shot at. You can also make funny plays like Flex Ninja with it, who's notoriously known for being an Omen main. Omen's second ability, Paranoia, is a massive blinding orb that'll near sight and deafen any enemies hit by it. This ability costs 250 credits, and the near sight will last for 2 seconds. <laughs> There's a lot of really useful places to use this ability in the game. Name on Ascent and Split though. Ascent and Split have very narrow choke points that are fought for at the start of every round pretty much, and that brings a lot of value to Omen's Paranoia ability. This is by far one of the best abilities on a controller in the entire game, so don't underestimate it. Omen's third ability, Dark Cover, is his smoke. He can have two charges. One he gets for free, and the second one costs 150 credits. His smoke lasts for 15 seconds and will regain an extra charge in 30 seconds after being used. Omen is very unique among controllers, with his smokes being really easy to make one ways out of. The green arrow in Omen's smokes are an indicator of where the smoke will land, so you can place it pretty much anywhere in the game. Here's a cool Omen one way for Garage on Haven that not many people know about. Omen's ultimate ability from the shadows will teleport Omen to anywhere you select on the map. It costs 7 ultimate points and actually has some pretty cool uses. Omen's ult is primarily used for fast rotations, flanking, and information gathering. Now, when should you use it to rotate? You should use this ultimate to rotate when you're certain the enemy isn't coming to your site, and your team is still defending the other one. Now, when should you use it to flank? You should use this ult to flank when the enemy are hard committing to bomb sites a lot. You'll be able to cut off their rotations and leave your team in a really good position to win the round. Now, when should you use his ultimate to gather info? If a round is nearing the end and you have no information on the enemy team, using his ult somewhere to see if the enemy team is there can be a good idea. But by far, the most useful part of Omen's ultimate is he can pick up the spike by ulting on top of it and then canceling it. The canceling part is important. You have to cancel the ult to pick up the bomb. Okay, so now that you know all about Omen's abilities, let's look at a few real rounds in ranked from a professional player and see how they use them. The reason we chose to highlight rounds from ranked rather than pro play is because implementing pro play into your own game is much harder, since they have a lot of team chemistry and set plays. Today, we chose to highlight some rounds from Som, one of the greatest smokes players in the game. You can find Som tearing it up on pretty much any agent in the game, but he specifically has a ton of experience playing the controller role for NRG, making him an excellent candidate to look at for Omen. Shadows traveling. Bridge slid from tiles. Bro, they're just they're avoiding my bomb site. I mean, I would too, oh, but. What? What the hell? You're jumping Gun. down? I'm just chilling. I'm just Notice how Som starts this round. 
by defaulting a one-way towards A main to help his team maintain A control at the start of the round. He does this smoke pretty much every single round on defense, holding it often with his jet to make it very difficult for the attackers to push A main. This is pretty much the bread and butter for all dome smokers on ascent, and it makes it very difficult for attackers to push A main, oftentimes even shifting them in different directions, like mid or B. This is why after holding the smoke for a moment, you'll see some rotates over towards mid, assuming that the enemies will not be pushing A main while his smokes are active. This is something you'll see often from high ranked players by the way. Lower ranked players often desperately feel like every single location needs to be covered all the time. However, you actually don't need to watch everything all the time. It's just, if you leave it, you need to check on it after a little bit before enemies can walk up. Rather than dedicating two players to a one-way smoke that nobody will likely push, it's going to be a lot more optimal to move those resources somewhere else and shift up your defense. And in this case, Som comes over towards Catwalk with his jet and plays off the enemy's smoke on Catwalk. From here, you can see Som will actually ping on the map the location and tiles where he hears an enemy spamming through the smoke and quickly tries to fish for a pick through the smoke. During this round, you'll notice how Som still has a fairly aggressive play style with Omen, defaulting control over A main with his one-way smokes as well as using his shrouded step proactively to outmaneuver his opponents. For our second round though, let's showcase a bit more of Omen's toolkit and how you can creatively use his smokes to give yourself openings in the round. This is going to be an ace from Som, just to showcase how you can outplay your opponents with Omen. Yeah, Phoenix, all you're good. Cover going out. Shadows traveling. Come on, let's go. Top of the wall. The door's zoom in. Two on the smoke. You're gonna flash out then. Wait, is out. Seventy on KO. Fifty on Bravo. Last player standing. Spike down, one is shredded. One enemy remaining. Outside the main. He starts the round by rotating towards the B site as the attackers are trying to find room to execute. On the way there, he drops two smokes. The first is in the B main choke point to make it difficult for the attackers to exit main but the second is actually a bit closer to spawn, and it's likely a smoke that most players would never even consider. This smoke serves two purposes that provide some a ton of options in this ace. The first is it allows him entry onto site, and the second, it actually blocks off the enemy's entrance towards stairs, making it easier for players on site to hold it. This smoke is going to play a crucial role in Som's ace. First, he teleports into the spawn smoke to quickly rotate in and avoid any sort of spam that might come his way. Then, after his TP finishes, you'll notice how he's able to sneak his way into that spawn smoke that we just talked about. This is part of the purpose of the smoke. It allows Som to not only escape through spawn super easy, but it also allows him to even strafe out towards Button into a position enemies might not expect him to be able to flood into. As his teammates tell him that someone's walled up in window though, you'll notice some strafes out into sight and pre-aims for the Sage who's peeking through. Although this is a neat tactic from Sage, it makes it pretty easy for Som to pre-aim and find a kill, whereas for the Sage, the defenders could be anywhere on site, so it's not really optimal once they know she's up there. After killing the Sage, you'll notice Som re-enters his smoke and then walks up towards Button like we mentioned. This is because Som doesn't want to be the main focus right here. He instead wants to play off his teammate who's in the open, so he knows what he's swinging into. And due to his patience, Som picks up a third and fourth kill in this clutch back-to-back. -back. And finally, for our last round, we're going to look at a clip that's a bit more basic from the offense. The last two clips we showcased showed how you can use Omen's utility a bit more dynamically, taking advantage of one-way smokes and lurking in and out of your utility to get onto site. In this clip, we just wanted to showcase what a standard Omen round might look like. Oh, nice. Broke my wire, be man. One enemy remaining. Som starts the round by placing a smoke towards market and a smoke towards spawn. These are two primary execute smokes you'll look to place when pushing B, and similar locations are present for every single site in the game. 
Next, you'll notice Sam actually follows up these smokes, though, using his ultimate to teleport into Boathouse. This ultimate is timed at the same moment that his teammates are pushing onto the site aggressively, and this makes any defenders in the area have to choose between shooting his ultimate or shooting his teammates. Splitting their attention like this can easily result in their death. You'll notice Sam doesn't secure any kills during this execute, but had his teammates gotten killed on this push, he had the perfect position to grab a trade. One thing to note here, Sohn didn't use his blind on the entry here, which is something Omen oftentimes does on a B push. Great options for Omen blind for B on Ascent are using it to stop the B main push from defenders as well as using it on stairs to help your teammates get out of this choke point and towards switch. Overall though, this is what a pretty standard push will look like from Omen and what you should strive to do in your rounds. So your checklist is going to be 1. Place smokes. 2. Blind if it's available. 3. Push in to trade your teammates. By following this checklist, you're going to make sure to always have an impact in your matches. As always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.